How we doing everybody? This is That R Nerd here with a basic tutorial on how to find a p-value from a AZ. So the first step is to to input all our variables here. So there's a couple ways we can do this in R. The first way, maybe the most popular way, is to use the caret and the dash and input our variable that way. So this is just saying that a, that we're putting five into a. However, I like to do it with just an equal sign. It saves an extra stroke, right? You have to type two buttons the other way, this way you only have to type one. So in this example we're saying maybe there's a, a group of tomatoes and they have a weight of five ounces, a mean weight, that's our expected. So our null hypothesis is that the mean of the tomatoes is equal to five ounces. And maybe we think that it's, it's different, so it's not equal to five. So we're gonna need to do a two-sided uh, Z test and find our p-value. So we'll say that A is our mean, so we'll actually just type that in. So we'll say the mean is equal to five. Let's say the, the standard deviation is known, so that way we're able to use a Z test. We'll say the standard deviation is equal to two. Let's say we take a sample size of 20. So we look at 20 different tomatoes here. So our n is equal to 20. And when we take the sample, uh, the average value that we get is equal to six ounces. So we'll say it's equal to six. So now we need to, to figure out our, our z scores so that we're able to, to input it into the, into the table. So we'll say our z is equal to x bar minus our null hypothesis which was five ounces so we'll say that's the mean divided by our standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size uh, which is equal to 20 or we can just put n in there so now if you want to run anything in R you just highlight the valuables there are the uh, variables and click run and over here you're gonna see me is equal to 5 and is equal to 20 and it spits out our Z right there or we can you know go on that line and it'll spit it out down there so our Z is equal to 2.236 so now we need to find a, a p-value for that we said our alternative hypothesis was that uh, the mean is not equal to 5 so we're gonna need uh, a two-sided test. So we just take two multiplied by p norm minus abs z. And this code here is going to give you your two-sided p-value test. Uh, so our p-value would come out to be 0 0.025. And obviously with this we'd reject the null hypothesis, say there's sufficient evidence, right? But what if you were just interested in, in one side or wanted to do a one-tailed test? Uh, you can actually just copy this code down and instead of multiplying it by two, uh, just run it once until we get a p-value of 0 0.01267. Uh, there's also a quicker way if you're more familiar with R you can actually uh, just type it right in. So you do one minus the p norm of x bar, and then we'd say mean is equal to the mean, and our sd is equal to s divided by square root of n. And if you run that, you're going to get the same p-value that you got above with the two-tailed test. And again, if you want to run it with a one-tailed test, you can just delete that two times button. So hopefully this is informative to you. If it helped you out, uh, just click the like button below. That really helps me out. If you're wanting to run a, a t-test instead of a z-test, click on the button above and it will send you to the video of trying to calculate a, a t-test. All right. 
Thanks a bunch. Hopefully this uh, was able to help you out.